We have made it to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, also known as KL for short. Let's explore this area and let's see what kind of treasures we can find here in the capital of Malaysia. What's great about downtown Kuala Lumpur is that most of these areas are connected by this convenient skywalk. just a little shy short of covering my full knees so I was not going to be allowed. Luckily I packed my leggings so I put them underneath and now I'm covered up so that we can climb up the Batu Caves. It's 272 steps. Let's see how long it takes us to get up there. And we are heading up the stairs to the Batu Caves. It's going to be a long haul. Let's see if we can make it without stopping. So far we've been climbing these stairs for about five minutes and we're almost at the top. Not as brutal as I thought other than the heat from the sun. That's not food. That's not food. This guy up here is admiring the view just like I am. I have to say that out of all the monkeys we've seen in Southeast Asia, the ones up here at the Batu Caves are a lot more domesticated and a lot more friendly than some of the other ones we've seen. Who's that on the camera? Who's that on the camera? Is that you? Is that you? And without all the stops, a hike up to the Batu Caves would have been about three to five minutes. However, with all the wonderful monkeys and all the photo opportunities with them, we took a little bit longer than expected.
are making our way back down the steps, heading to the bottom of the Batu Caves. It's Chinese New Year 2020, and we are celebrating here in Kuala Lumpur. Yay! Chinese New Year 2020 is the year of the rat. Let's show you how exciting New Year's is here in Kuala Lumpur. And we have entered Pub Street in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Because it's Chinese New Year, a lot of the businesses are closed and these streets are crowded. We're learning today how to order <laughs> food at a restaurant in Malaysia the proper way, not eating McDonald's or not eating some of those places. We're going to learn the traditional way of eating here in Malaysia. With our hands. One of the notable things here in Malaysia with the cuisine is these banana leaves. The food is served on banana leaves instead of plates. This is gonna be our first time eating with our hands. Right. <laughs> bon appetit. Bon appetit. Okay. So, you just, you know, scoop the rice onto the palm, and then you just push it in. Yeah! It really isn't that difficult. It just takes a little getting used to. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give it a try. Let's see what happens. So you make your hand like a spoon, and you, so you, like this, right? Just scoop it up, and then push it into your mouth. Just a few times. Just like being a little kid. After you scoop, you have to close it from top to bottom, right? If you close it uh, from top to bottom, it means the food is good, right? But when you close it from bottom to top, it means that um, you are not, not happy. Yeah, yeah. not happy. Yeah. Yeah. And you the second thing is... You won't come back? You won't come back. <laughs> and now that means that we were satisfied with our meal, and we were very happy. <laughs> we were so happy with our friends that brought us here. Thank you for sharing your food with us. <laughs> Alright, and we are saying bye to JC and um, Anthony, Anthony, right? Yeah. 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 Sorry, what did you guys do? Oh, my name is Ryan. Ryan? Emerson and Ryan, the kids. Bye. 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 B
Yeah, try it. One more time. One more time. You know what? Bring it in. Bring it in. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> It's a little after seven in the morning and we are in Kuala Lumpur airport getting ready to go to Borneo and look at how empty this place is. Say hi Virginia. And of course no vending machine is complete without a good couple of cups of top ramen. <laughs> almost like magic it was completely quiet and then suddenly out of nowhere people came now we're waiting in line to get on this air airplane it's pretty crazy because you've seen just how quiet this was just a few minutes ago walking through the jetty right now looking to book or find ways to get to the other side of the island we're getting our masks Shortly after arriving in Borneo, we discovered that the coronavirus rapidly began spreading. We booked a trip home and we shortened our trip by a few days. And this concludes our trip to Borneo.